Today, once more, they will replenish themselves, cheat death again, through the power of their source. Matt Stone, 180DegreeHealth.com Hey, this is Matt Stone from 180 Degree Health, and I had something on my mind, and I had some little mental constipation worked up, and figured I would get it out. I spoke with a group of people at a festival in Grass Valley, California over the weekend, and there was a guy who interrupted me just maybe five minutes in, and you could tell he was trying to be a little bit confrontational and, you know, more trying to be, you know, sort of disprove what I was saying, uh, you know, trying to take the gas out of the wind out of my sails or whatever. And he was this kind of hippie dude dressed in all these crazy purple robes and stuff. <laughs> and, um, you know, the, the premise of my talk was talking about how body temperature and having a high body temperature is good. And one of the things he brought up and he said, you know, a lot of people are thinking about, are, are thinking that, you know, we're burning the candle too, too hot. And that, you know, high metabolism is, you know, causing us to age too quickly. And did you know that the actual, the first age of menstruation has fallen from age 17 to about 11 over the last 100 years and you know we're just developing more quickly because metabolism is higher blah 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 um, and, and you see I've seen all kinds of you know people say ridiculous things about the average age of first menstruation it has fallen from age 17 to 11 or so in the last hundred years it's a very significant biological event and I think it's a, a definitely a sign of impending doom. But is it? Should we just assume that it's because we're you know we're, we're burning through life too quickly? Um, other people I've heard assume that it was because uh, it's got to be the hormones in the milk. I had a professor in college who was trying to convince everybody that it was because we were seeing more sexual images on television and things like that. So there's no proof of any of these kind of theories or any of these kind of beliefs at all. Um, but it's very easy for someone to, you know, just create an idea and sort of create an awkward moment there because, you know, what do I say to that? There's no evidence that, that uh, there's a higher metabolic rate for people who reach menstruation early. Um, there's a huge connection between obesity and a low metabolism and also reaching first menstruation much or much earlier so you know I didn't really answer his question or dive into it too much because the the premise and the, the focus of the talk certainly wasn't early puberty but I wanted to get off that off my chest because there's a, a powerful link between obesity and early menstruation and you see um, you know very young type 2 diabetes prone uh, type of girls especially uh, Mexican Americans African Americans reaching puberty at really really early ages eight years old nine years old this is becoming very common and it seems that the same growth factors that trigger obesity are the same growth factors such as the excess production of estrogen and things like that you have estrogenic um, activity by the body fat itself that seems to be triggering uh, an early development of these secondary sex ca characteristics and you know pushing back this age of first menstruation I don't think it has anything to do with hormones in the milk I don't think it necessarily has to do with estrogenic compounds in the in the food itself or in the environment or in plastic bottles or any of those kind of things all everything could be a factor but it just appears to be more of this uh, you know the metabolic syndrome in general seems to be more the thing that's driving this early puberty and um, there's not much evidence of all these other wild theories that, that people come up with um, and, and the thing about metabolic syndrome is is that you're not going to find an a, a obese eight-year-old who's already developing breasts with a really really high metabolic rate you know stick a thermometer in a kid like that you're gonna see very low body temperatures just like if you stick a thermometer in an obese dog you're gonna see a reduced body temperature so anyway that's my thoughts on that I wanted to get that out of my brain so if my brain doesn't didn't explode I've been sort of um, you know marinating on it for several days now and it's time to let it go anyway I'll catch you guys for another video soon thanks again Matt Stone of 180 degree health Subscribe to the 180 Degree Health channel now, or you will be abducted by lesbian Nazi hookers from outer space and forced into a weight loss program. It doesn't matter what you had for lunch, just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it.
Eat it.